Oh, okay. Hey, hey, Bill, I just wanted to call and, you know, say happy 84th. That's pretty amazing. So how are things going lately? Been, it seems it's like been really well, but, you know, along that line. It's uh, like you're busier I, than ever. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it, uh, things are getting better. You know, it, it, it's getting better every year. You know, there's more and more exciting areas. You know, I've been around for a while. We've worked in lots of areas. A lot of them are really, really moving forward. And so, uh, and I, you know, I have a smaller group than I used to have, but I have collaborators all over the world. So more or less, there's more projects than ever. So, um, so I think it's, um, uh, it's really great working with people. And you know, we had a, had a surprise birthday party, 7.30 Monday morning, which is my birthday. And uh, I hadn't expected it. It, it was supposed to be a, a call with a, a spin-off I started, you know, the, the CTO and CEO wanted to talk about the future. And then I get on board and there's 65 people there that have worked in my group. Some I hadn't seen for a decade, two decades. You know, it's, it's great doing science because you have these. It seems like, it yeah. seems like you're, yeah, you got people all over the world and it seems like you're also publishing more than ever. I mean, yeah, how, no, how, right. no. how long do you think you'll continue doing science? Well, you know, I, I certainly want to do at least another 16 years. Um, I think, you know, 100 <laughs> maybe, you know, I don't know, maybe I'll run down by then, I'm not sure. Um, so as long as your brain's strong, you know, I got a new right leg now, so I can, yeah. I can walk. Uh, yeah. So, so I think it's a, uh, yeah, so it's. Well, we're, know, cer it's, we're certainly enjoying collaborating with you. So yeah. that's great. No, it's, it's great. I mean, I have, you know, two, two, two calls a week to, to Russia, two different people in France, one in Italy, one in Germany. Um, those are all seven to nine in the morning. And then Asia, usually it's between four and six p.m. Uh, two in Korea, uh, one in China, two in China, one in Hong Kong, one in Taiwan. Um, and this multiplies the efforts. I mean, so um, often it's experimental people, I'd say a majority, but you know, we've got people that can actually do experiments and things we've predicted. Yeah. Uh, and so, um, and then, the, you know, the, so, so besides the, the sort of new students and postdocs, you know, there's this people have interacted with over the years and collaborate, continue to collaborate on things. So yeah, that's great. I think that, so as I said, it's, it's better every year. I mean, what we're doing in electric catalysis is really, really exciting. We're getting numbers you know, right on with the best experiments. And then oh. the bio stuff, we've uh, figured out uh, how the G protein interacts with GPCR. So when you take morphine or say, uh, we figured out how it actually causes that sick people think signaling that, that fixes your pain. Also, we figured out uh, how it, it interacts with beta restin to cause the side effects. And so, yeah. so I'm, I'm doing better science now than I've ever done. I'm not as good as I used to be at analytical, mm -hmm. but uh, you know, I've got far better intuition and understand yeah. often what the answer is before we've done the calculations. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like now uh the same for me. I just feel like uh I hope I can do science until I'm hundred. <laughs> You're a real inspiration for me. <laughs> uh, it's really a shame that a lot of a lot of my friends around the world have had to retire well before they maybe even reach their peak. I mean it's uh yeah. and yeah. so it's really uh that's a that's a pitiful a sort of a sad thing. Yeah. Yeah. No. I, so you have people that are at their prime, um, and and mm -hmm. and and they can't just keep doing the, the great science. And so that's you know we want in the science. There's a lot of complicated things. We got a lot of very important problems to solve with you know the environment, CO two, mm -hmm. change, and we need to, we need to have the best people working on those things. And so there's no reason mm -hmm. that that people stop with. You know, over the years, you get better and better intuition, you get better understanding of problems. You've been around mm -hmm. enough to, to know what can go wrong. And, uh, it's, yeah. uh, but it's so exciting, I tell you. It's uh, so I more or less start mm -hmm. Zoom calls either seven or eight <clears> in the morning, go to usually seven p.m. Sometimes eight p.m. So so many exciting things. So you still run, you're you're still running the big center at Caltech, right? Well, it's 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 bit less bigger than it used to be. I I made a mistake back in the nineties. It went up to about sixty five people. So, uh -huh. and what happened was that we were doing lots of great stuff, but basically there were so many things being done. I didn't have time to spend my quality time on every project and make sure we really got the most out of it. A, a lot of projects. Went well. We had stuff to write up. 
maybe we submitted it, we got a maybe a, a negative response, and, and then I got the sidetrack, and never was published. You know, it's yeah. it's uh, so so these days, um, you know, basically, uh, more or less, when I get a paper, I, I insist people like their own drafts. But they got to do that. Mm -hmm. Some people like great drafts, some people not so good. Uh, but whatever it is, I go through it, try to teach them how to, to, to write. Um, yeah. and then now, nowadays, uh, you know, I go through it within, usually within a couple of days. Uh, whereas it used to be, I could go weeks sometimes on some papers that, you know, weren't, weren't, weren't so yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think it's, um, and I, you know, I think, uh, so, I mean, I, if, I, if I retired, I'd actually get a higher salary from my, from the uh, the the uh, retirement fund that I get now. Yeah. <laughs> so so it, it pays Caltech to keep you employed, huh? <laughs> you know, eventually, they just go to my heirs. You know, I have plenty of heirs: four children, thirteen grandchildren, four great grandchildren. So so okay. they'll do something useful with it. But I I I think you know I maybe twenty years. I don't know. Sixteen is a nice round number. A hundred, you know. It's, uh, Okay. Um, so it's, uh, but um, yeah, so, so again, the science is just so exciting. You know, there are things that, that it just seemed impossible three years ago. We now figured out how to do them. Um, and so, uh, I, it's, I, you know, fortunately, in the US, as long as you can raise the funding, as long as you, you know, it's still sharp, uh, there's no reason to retire. I mean, if yeah. you couldn't raise the funds, they couldn't do anything, well, that wouldn't be much point. Right. So, yeah. yeah. Well, thanks, Bill. You know, I know, I know you got to get back to some other things. So I really appreciate, you know, the opportunity to wish you happy birthday. And I'm really enjoying our, our, our collaboration. So yeah. no, I appreciate it. It's, it's really nice. And, you know, I've had notes from people all over, uh, you know, seven years ago, it's, it's when I was 77, a former collaborator at Intel organized a birthday party and then he got uh, Springer to actually publish all the, uh, all the chapters. And it just came, I don't know if I sent it to you, it just came out uh, about a month or so ago. It's been downloaded 25,000 times. Oh, that's great. Yeah. In a month. So it's, uh, and so for that, I actually wrote a summary of things I'd worked on. It turned out into 20 chapters, you know, <laughs> sort of each major area. Um, so it's so, yeah. there's so many things to do and it's just so exciting. So yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks for remembering.